with your fire. I want more of your fire. Consume me, Lord, with your fire. I want more of your fire. is Kelvin Agidi. I'm a voice of hope, voice of love, a transformational vocalist, a worship leader, and above all, a child of God. How did it all start and why music? Growing up, I was in a choir, you know, children's choir, and music singing actually came as a natural gift and talent, but noticing that the hand of God was on my life. Now it's more of me fulfilling purpose and singing is one of the tools that God is using to affect lives through me. My name is Philip Ulubaki. I am a lawyer by training and a minister of the gospel. I met Kevin Giddy for the first time in 2009, but then we became friends in 2011 when I joined the choir of the Transforming Church. Kevin is such, such a warm-hearted person. He's a committed singer and minister of music. You know, when we go to rehearsals in those days, I would, um, after rehearsals, usually all of us would go back home. But you find Kevin staying back in church all by himself, rehearsing all night. I mean, night after night, Kevin wouldn't go home. He would stay back in church to sing and rehearse. He would work on the song, work on his chords, started learning how to play the piano. There are very rare people you find like that, like you find Kelvin. Kelvin can mix high praise with very deep worship. You meet him here and then he's there and then he has this, oh my God, he has this very powerful pitch. I don't know if I know anybody who could reach that pitch. Kelvin is committed. He's a fervent worshiper. He's a passionate Christian. He's a lover of God and he's my friend. I love Kelvin so deep. How did I arrive at where I am presently? Well, of course, it's by the grace of God. There's nothing we are or we have that is not by the grace of God. A wise man also once said in Proverbs 22, verse 29, it says, See it thou a man diligent in his work. Um, it has been God all the way and also commit, has taken commitment, you know, some level of hard work, focus, Despite the challenges, you get focused on what God has called you for and to do and not giving up, you know. You have to uh, be able to stay on the conviction that you have, knowing that this is what God has called me to do. So it has taken years of, of some level of hard work, commitment, deliberate, uh, commitment, you know, and focus to achieving what God has in store for me. What project am I currently working on? Well, I'm working on my debut album. God has shared some songs with me in the closet and it's time he told me to release it to the world. And it's the Living Water album. Yeah, he told me to call it that. He said everything answers to its name and this is what I want to do with these songs I've given you. Um, the book of Ezekiel 47 verse 9 exactly is what he said will be happening wherever this water goes it will bring healing deliverance it will bring intimacy between man and god whatever you want living water album whatever your desire is it's going to be that to you and that's what i'm working on it's it's done and um, we'll soon be releasing it out as god will allow us to 
My name is Ifeolua Agwedo Ajayi, aka IP Ajayi, aka IP Sam. I'm a music producer, an audio engineer, a songwriter, I'm a singer also, and uh, a lot more I can't remember right now. I've met a lot of gospel musicians, and when you look at their lifestyle and you look at what they're trying to sing about, you really can't put the two together, but I can boldly say Kelvin is a Christian and he's also a talented uh, musician. He's a singer, he's a teach, he's so so uh, breathtaking. And, uh, his lyrics, I think I can say I like his lyrics. He spends time to, to write songs. You, know, you have a love song these days that you really can. It's just, they're just Rick Maroney and recycling. Is someone who I can actually say receives inspiration from the world. Any regrets so far? Definitely not. Uh, there's no regret at all. Of course, there were quite some challenging times, some difficult times, you know, but no regret at all. No regrets. Aside singing, what else do I do? I teach the world, <laughs> you know, and we're running an outreach ministry where we get to reach out to communities. The other day, God helped us to provide solar energy to a community where there was no light. And presently, God is helping us to uh, take some children off the streets to the school and so much more. Uh, so when I'm not singing, we're doing every other thing that God will allow us to do. Hello, my name is Manus. I'm a music producer, uh, music arranger, vocal coach, vocal arranger. Um, I'm a talent hunter and also a music entrepreneur. So basically, I live music, I eat music, I sleep music, I, I am music. Well, in very few words, um, Kelvin, um, awesome Kel as, as fondly called, is, um, is a great guy. Um, his person, first of all, is, uh, is, um, is great. And then he's an awesome singer, and uh, he's one singer that every producer would want to work with. I mean, he's committed, and um, I like to say Kevin is a power, is a vocal powerhouse. You know, he he gets the job done. Good guy. What brings me the greatest joy? There's nothing that gives me joy knowing that what I am doing part time is what God wants me to do. Being at the center of God's will, and uh, reaching out to and meeting needs. Just knowing that God is pleased with what I'm doing part-time brings me joy. What would my advice be for someone who strives for something great? Um, first of all, I would say you need to determine, you need to know why you're here. And the moment you get to know why you're here, pursue it unapologetically. Run with it. God told me the other day, see, he said, your life is in the breath. He said, don't breathe another moment outside my purpose for you. And the moment you determine why you're here, pursue it. Get all you need to get. Know everything you need to know. Accomplish it and pursue it. What is my definition for success? It is simply being all that God wants me to be. Not by the world standard, but God's standard everything that he wants me to be. See myself being it makes me successful. <laughs>